there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to layer images using custom CSS. Below, I have two little images left over from my super fun photo shoot. I've got an image on the left and an image on the right, and I'd like to actually layer these and make them slightly off center. Now, both of them are standard image blocks. So the first thing we're going to do today is identify the ID of each specific image so we can work with it separately. There is some, a really cool way to do that with inspecting your own code, but I actually prefer to use a free Chrome extension that I absolutely love. Um, I'm not affiliated with this Chrome extension in any way. I just really like it and it works awesomely. So I highly recommend it. It's called the Squarespace Collection or Block Identifier. There's a link to it beneath this video. So definitely check this out if you haven't explored it yet, but it works amazingly well. And I'll show you exactly how I use it when creating custom CSS. So we'll go ahead and make this site full screen and I'll click on my block identifier Chrome extension. Now you can see I actually have the ID or the element names for both of these separate images. All right, I'm gonna click on them and I'm going to put them into a notepad here. Um, I use notepad because it clears out any text formatting and I can just use this to save it for later. So there we go. We've got the ID for the block image on the left and the ID for the image on the right. Awesome, I'm gonna turn off that extension and let's get to coding. I'm going to head over to design and then custom CSS. And this is where we're actually going to start making some changes. So if I'm going to start with the second image over there on the right. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that code in here and I'm going to add a little margin to the top of it. I'm gonna say margin top 50 pixels and that's gonna scoot that image down for me. You see how I have a little bit of a difference there? Awesome. Now I want to scoot it a little bit to the left, but I also want to scoot the other image on the top to the right. So let's say margin left and negative 50 pixels. Now we've scooted it over to the left and we've got some layering effects happening there. I'd like to do the same to the other image. So I'm going to grab that block ID. I'm going to place it there and I'm going to say margin right negative 50 PX. And now they're even more overlapped. Pretty cool, right? There's one other element I'd like to talk about, and that is about the actual layers themselves. Let's say I wanted this thinker image on the left to actually be on top instead of on the bottom. I can do that by adding a Z index code. So I'll add the semicolon and I'm going to type Z dash index and we'll label it, um, let's just say nine nine. And this is my way of telling the browser that this is going to be the 99th layer. So at the, the top of the image here. Now you can call it the 999th layer or the 9,999,999th layer, <laughs> whatever you'd like. And that's how you're able to layer images using CSS. That's it for today's tutorial. I would love to know if you use this on your website. Playing around with some customizations like this is a little bit more advanced than I usually record for these tutorials. So let me know how it goes in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website. If you liked this tutorial, be sure to subscribe so you can see a new one every week. And when you're ready for more CSS tips and snippets, check out my CSS cheat sheet. Available now at insidethesquare.co slash CSS.